Hi Cancer and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a read and this is going to be for the second half of August uh, for you and who and that who could be a friend or family member, a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, one side of a situation or another or even a person of interest. All right. So it'll be for uh, all the Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising as well as your Venus signs. Uh, do check those other signs out outside of your Sun sign guys. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, they might provide a little bit more insight for you to kind of garner, uh, you know, kind of where you're at a little bit. Okay. Uh, so that being a general, you know, this being a general read, uh, if you're looking for a personal read that truly taps into your own personal energies, go to the guided intuitive up here or in my description box. Uh, thank you all who have been booking sessions with me. I, I really appreciate it. I, uh, am very honored with it and, uh, I'm so thankful to be a part of your journey. Uh, you know, whether that is, you know, working through a relationship, whether it's, you know, starting your business for many of you, uh, or in fact, just life overall. All right. So we're going to jump into this. Um, we'll see what's coming out. Um, and, uh, we'll start, uh, with you cancer. Let's take a look at where you're at right now. What are the current circumstances right now? Where are you at? Okay. Okay. So what do we got at the bottom of the deck? We've got the eight of pentacles. So cancer, whoops, sorry for the glare there guys. Um, it looks like you're really working hard on a relationship or in a situation right now. It could be just work overall right now, uh, for some of you, but the eights are all about change or some sort of significant change that you're wanting to make in your work. You're either already doing it or you're looking to make it. And, uh, but I think that a lot of you already are doing that. This is the underlying energy right now. This is the pentacle energy, which is all about, uh, you know, it could be about, out, uh, could have to do with finances and things like that. So just focusing on your work. Um, the cards that I get that came out here are the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Hermit. Okay, so this is interesting. The King of Cups is just balancing your emotions out after receiving maybe some sort of clarity, victory, uh, enlightenment of some sort. Uh, you know, and and it could be just you know balancing out your own emotions because the King of Cups is just amazingly, uh, really, really wonderful at doing that. But this is about maybe perhaps as it pertains to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone carrying that energy, or you're just taking on this energy. You're getting the clarity, and you've achieve some sort of wreath of success and that's what I see here uh, and then it has you going within looking at the bigger picture okay major kind of card here the hermit so this tells me that it's now about you know analytical thought okay it's about working with that could be dealing with the Virgo as well um, but that's what I see coming through here just balancing out your emotions right now after some sort of power victory and clarity out of something that has completed. So some of you have had some sort of victory somewhere, uh, some sort of clarity somewhere. Note your comments below. I would love to know. And definitely like and subscribe, guys. It really helps if it's something that vibes with you here, okay? But that's what I see here. It's really interesting. Um, but this is about having confidence, you know, confidence in your analytical thought that coming to being able to get to the answers that you need. Uh, and it maybe it took this higher level, you know, kind of, you know, kind of looking above and, and looking at the bigger picture to get this clarity uh, that you were looking for. But this is really beautiful because this is about definitely power, victory, and clarity. Um, but you had to also balance your emotions, look at the bigger picture, and then get this clarity that you're looking for. So that's what I see coming through. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see what else in terms of your current situation that wants to come through. Anything else that it wants to say for you here. Okay. Okay, so we do have, um, this is interesting because we do have the Queen of Cups. Let me just pull this out here with this aside. So we've got the Queen of Cups. Uh, well, we've got the um, Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, and we've got the Lover's card. This is really cool, uh, guys. This is about, you know, things becoming a lot clearer. So now things are able to move forward a lot faster for you here, okay? Now it's about looking at your emotions on what it is that you want. What is it that you would like to move forward? Um, how you want to look, you know, move forward in a relationship or in a situation. And that's exactly what I see here. It's like, um, it's like really balancing out, knowing that your feelings are special and, and getting clear uh, on how to, uh, on how you'd like to move forward in a relationship. And then the next card that we get is the two of cups. I mean, go figure, right? Uh, then someone comes in and it's about, you know, confessing or expressing love to each other. This is equal footing, but it wasn't until you kind of felt and, and, and saw that things, you know, in terms of your, uh, in terms of your emotions were balanced and you saw the value in your emotions and you saw the value of expression 
and that could be very, very important. Also, you could have Leo in your chart or maybe you're dealing with the Leo, um, but this is really beautiful. The, the Lover's card, it could be also even dealing with the Gemini, okay? This is a Gemini card, right? So that's the zodiac sign uh, with the card here. Well, I should say, no, it's not, that's the Lover's card. Sorry about that, guys. Let me back up here. Let me back up here. This is just really an expression of love. I was thinking that, I don't know why I focused on lovers. But some of you, you, you could finally express that you are in love with someone else and someone is expressing the same to you. So that could very much well be the case. So yeah, sorry about that guys. So yeah, that's kind of, you, you balance out your emotions, you understand how you feel, things become a lot clearer, and then the expression of love comes through. This is an expression of love between two people. Now, I don't know if you're dealing with another water sign or someone who's got water in their chart, but they very much, you know, well, could be the case. Uh, but this is this is really beautiful. This is about some sort of attraction. Now, for those of you that aren't in a relationship, this could be some sort of partnership with someone. Okay, so there we go. That's what I see. So, who got that out of the way? Um, and yeah, that's exactly what I see here. Let's take a look at this other person on the other side and uh, see what's going on for them uh, as well. Let's take a look. Let me just make let me just shuffle these a little bit better so you can see here. Get the whole deck here. Okay. So yeah, that's what I see. Let's take a look at this other person on the other side. I want to see where they're at in this current situation here. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, nice. Karma. So, you know, I don't know if this other person on this side is, is, is uh, going through their karmic uh, cycle and going through some sort of completion in a karmic cycle, but this is beautiful because this tells me that, whoops, this tells me that it's all about, you know, some sort of karmic uh, destiny, uh, some sort of cycle that they are in, uh, perhaps maybe even came to an end in too. So that's what I see here. Very, very beautiful. Okay. Um, this is also about, you know, some sort of growth and some sort of, uh, perhaps wisdom that has, uh, you know, come you know out of this because of this. So that's kind of what I see coming through, but this is really good. So will of fortune. So some sort of wisdom could come out of some sort of cycle. Could it be, be some sort of love cycle, uh, some sort of attraction with someone um, you know that's what I see with this person here let's take a look whoa okay and I said well because I get the uh, six of wands I get the ten of Pentacles and the magician card okay so the six of wands talks about you know having self-confidence you know yeah, other people recognizing them so that could be that could that could be the case for this other person it's about a new birth okay now it could be a new birth now this is um, at a, and then what comes right after that is the ten of Pentacles Capricorn Taurus Virgo so you've got like Aries, Aries Leo Sagittarius new birth and then I actually get you know this is focusing on a relationship or situation this could have been a new birth in a relationship that this person uh, if they're already in a relationship um, this could be uh, you know uh, them uh, recognizing that there's a new birth in a relationship of a marriage and um, and having all the resources being able to make this new birth happen again a Gemini card comes out the magician okay so this is interesting uh, this could be communication. This could be travel. It also, for some of you, I do have to say, for some of you, uh, this uh, could be, you know, having the confidence, getting, you know, you know, others, uh, you know, seeing uh, that uh, you are going through some sort of rebirth after this karmic cycle. Uh, and this is about wanting the Ten of Cups, wanting wealth, establishment, and all of that. Uh, and, uh, it, and it could be that uh, this person on this side, you know, could be a Gemini or it, you know, it could be in their chart or vice versa. But yeah, that's really interesting. So they're ending a karmic cycle. They are now going through a rebirth. They want uh, a, brand, a, a rebirth in a uh, situation and they've got all the tools to make it happen. Okay. So two, two storylines here, guys. This person could be married right now and having a rebirth and starting all over with that person. Um, you know, after an end of a cycle, or in fact that they are in the, at the end of a cycle, that they are going through a, a rebirth and wanting to have a ten of pentacles uh, and has all everything to make it happen. Um, they just had to build; they were building up the wealth and what they needed to do. But it's it's coming to fruition, which you know the tens is 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 coming to uh, fruition, and then it moves on to a new beginning. And this person has all the resources to make it happen. So they could be starting a new in their a current relationship that maybe they perhaps were separated or you know um, after a cycle or after a cycle they could you know be starting to have a brand new beginning and having all the tools and resources to start with someone else so very interesting guys very interesting Whew. 
I was a little tough energy over there, okay? So let's go back to you and talk about, you know, uh, what are the, uh, what, is, what has been the cause of confusion here? What's been the cause of confusion here? Absence, you know, maybe that the you guys are at a distance from each other. So it could be at a, you know, that you are, are absence and it leads to illusions. You're not sure kind of what's happening in this relationship or situation. It's like you want to move, you want to have the freedom to move like this horse here, but in, in, in the heart here, you can see the hooves are kind of stuck down and this kind of, it's kind of like the, uh, the, it's not able to move. It's kind of like the horse is unable to move and express the freedom to the full rein to run and that's just not, not there. So it's kind of like maybe there is some sort of absence of that person or something is missing in this relationship or situation that's keeping it from really moving forward, okay? Um, that's what I see here. And let's take a look at um, uh, uh, what that is. I'm just pull some terror a little bit more on here and what it is uh, uh, that is causing this sense of anxiety. Yeah, things need to be balanced. Okay, so this is about this is about the Justice card, King of Wands, and then I got the Seven of Wands. Okay, so this is about you know bringing equilibrium into the relationship and situation. You want balance. Okay, this is what I see. This is the Justice card, and this just talks to me about that. This is all about uh, could be dealing with the Libra, but this is about balancing things out, right? Um, then I get the King of Wands. Right, this is of authority. This is a, a you know someone that is uh, you know in charge of. Um, uh, you know, very, very uh, uh, visionary, could be an entrepreneur that you're dealing with. You could be an entrepreneur uh, as well. And then you are trying to, you know, stay on top of everything, you know, in terms of your work. But, you know, it's kind of like in everything, you want balance in this relationship. So everything can kind of balance out a little bit better. It doesn't have to be such a competition here, right? Uh, the seven is having faith that you're going to remain on top. But this is about having faith that communications will also come through in love. The blue is the throat chakra, the green is the heart chakra. And this is kind of like battling, you know, this. So it's like you really want, you know, that. And I, I feel that many of you are business owners, you know, as well. So that could be the case. So note your comments below. But again, a little bit more Leo in here too. I get the Leo, uh, you know, uh, in the hair as well. But you want a balancing of scales. And, and so what's causing anxiety is the imbalance, okay? What is it that you need to surrender to, Cancer? So let's take a look at what that is, okay? Let's take a look at what this is. Surrender to the frustration. This is about going with the flow, okay? So for many of you, it's just kind of like, don't give yourself the frustration to this. This is about the frustration in this relationship or that you're feeling is not gonna open any doors, okay? So this is about the, the key to resolving this is just to step back take a deep breath and really recenter yourself so anytime you feel that frustration step back okay and that's what this is reminding you to do to take that deep breath it allows you to regroup and then you can see the situation or the relationship a lot more clear okay than before okay uh so that's what this is letting you uh letting you know so if you're feeling the energy move within you you're starting to feel frustration that's your signal to step back right and allow things to kind of uh, uh, allow yourself to calm, you know, take some deep breaths, do what it is you need to do, get out into the meadows, right, or, or something of the sort. But that's what it wants you to do. Okay, so that's the anxiety. What about this other side, this other person? What's in causing this other person uh, anxiety over on the other side? Let's take a look. What is the what is the uh, uh, cause of anxiety? What do we get? <laughs> okay, so we get the Page of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Star. Okay, whoa, I can't even hold on to this here anymore. Wow. Okay, so this person wants a new beginning. There's no doubt. This person wants a new beginning. It could be, again, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? But they want a new beginning, okay? They're very curious. They're very energetic. They may come across really, really fast, uh, you know, to you. I mean, kind of, you know, just kind of like, I shouldn't say so much fast. It's not like the knight of swords, but it's more like uh, being energetic and being very curious and just trying things out, right? Uh, and this is actually this person moving, could very much well be, I will tell you, moving from the page of swords to a king of swords. And that is a huge jump, okay? Huge jump. Um, and, and again, if that's not them doing this, this could be you, uh, you know, here. And, and again, you know, focusing on your, your intellect and having the clear thinking. But I really feel that they have moved from a page and kind of moving on to a clearer thinking. They're understanding things a lot better. And they're also going through some sort of healing, okay? Now, you might have Aquarius in your chart or they might 
might have Aquarius in theirs, uh, but it is about healing, inspiration, and hope for this brand new beginning and uh, to, to, uh, to you know, move forward and to grow. Uh, some of you could be dealing with something that's a little bit mature, uh, immature. It doesn't have to be an age. Uh, it could be for some of you, but it could be just in terms of handling uh, a relationship or situation, right? And uh, they're going through a lot of healing, okay? Maybe there's some things you don't know about this person on this side, and we're gonna pull what that is. Uh, what is it that the healing uh, that they're going through? They're balancing out their emotions, balancing out their energy, uh, and, and really trying to find what their true north is and cutting out anything that doesn't, you know, that's standing in the way for them. But let's take a look at what that is. What is it? Yeah, they have to surrender to the inner peace within themselves, okay? Um, they need to have more, what's the word I'm looking for, like more meditative moments for them, okay? It's about calming down. Very similar to you when you get frustrated. So there's a dynamic here, guys, okay? Uh, you know, it, it, you know, karmically driven or not, but I do believe that on this side here, for this person, that it's like they have to have a little bit more stillness within them so they can enjoy um, their, their inner workings and, and, and others are going to feel their good vibes too and things are going to flow more easily for them, okay? So it's about them surrendering surrendering to the inner peace that is, is so necessary for them um, and enjoy that inner sanctuary within for themselves, okay? Now keep in mind, some of you might resonate with you know one side more than the other. I'm just focusing on you on here and the other person over here, okay? So just note that. Let's take a look on, um, you know, what can help you in this process, right? You know, what is it that can help you? And then three steps, what you need to focus on. What can help you in this process? What do I want to use? I want to use, um, let's just pull these cards here, okay? What's going to help you in this process, okay? Let's take a look at what's going to help you in this process. Okay, this wants to come out reassess <laughs> okay so it's time to reassess the situation remember stepping back and you can kind of see things clear from the frustration on the other side so reassess the situation it's about reassessing also what it is that you want in a relationship or situation so cancer um you know that might be something you're going through uh and it could be helpful uh i totally get it i'm a cancer moon and I, i'm understanding this but it's about reassessing that's going to really really help you okay so reassess the situation reassess what it is that you want and then you know step back from that frustration to reassess the situation so you can see it differently right uh that's what i see here anything else choose friends wisely now in any partner or relationship it's important that you're friends first right and and that's always key it doesn't matter romantic or not friendship is key because you know when you take you know you take love and all the romance and the sex out of it you know you've got you got to be able to you to have each other's back okay so note your comments below you know if you guys agree but that's exactly you know for some of you that's the case but it's about choosing friends a little bit more wisely uh you know and also be patient okay so then what, how you need to move forward is to reassess the situation start choosing the people that you surround yourself with more wisely and be patient okay uh for this other person what is it uh, you know how is it um, how uh, you know what what is um, uh, what can help them best here it is okay so for them is to begin to explore okay begin to explore and uh, this is about their new ro you know romantic relationships is they're beginning to explore themselves in a romantic relationship okay and uh, they know that any sort of relationship now more than ever is about building on solid ground they may have not have known that before but to jump from the page of swords to the king of swords that is, you know again Gemini Libra Aquarius type energy that very much will be a big shift they're starting to understand that and they're laughing at their demons okay they're, they're encouraged to laugh at their demons even if they can't right now um, I think that they're seeing things a little bit better here okay so back over to you I'm just going to share with you kind of the best steps uh, in terms of how you need to move forward what does that look like okay what does that look like in terms of moving forward okay what does that look like let's take a look at these cards here we're gonna use these ones here the earth or earth uh, man earth cards let's say what is they the earth oracles yeah so let's take a look at what this is. Best way to move forward. Renewal. Wow, okay. So this is about renewal. My gosh, you guys, this energy. Whew. It's off the charts, guys. 
off the charts, man. So it's about renewal, right? We've got to throw, we've got a renewal, you know, renewal of a uh, of a situation or you know whatever that is coming forward for you, a relationship or a situation is, is an opportunity for renewal. But it's also about renewing your own uh, inner self and your inner peace. Okay. The next card that I get is reaction, right? So it's this is about um, you know this is about understanding you know that you know how things have kind of transpired and your understanding maybe perhaps how you were a part of this relationship relationship or situation and maybe you're understanding that when you were growing up as you were blooming there's certain things that maybe created some sort of stag you know uh, um, sadness or you know because you can see tears that are kind of going through let me take a look you guys can see the card here sorry for the glare there but you can kind of see tears kind of going through and getting some sort of reaction how you react to things um, uh, you know plays an important part and uh, it is, uh, you know, asking also spirit, you know, for guidance, you know, in this process. But for some of you, it could be, you know, maybe surrounding a love situation. There has been, you know, it's, it's a, the gender is male, but you see here for some of you that you could uh, be going through some sort of, of sadness in terms of trying to bloom this relationship or situation, or perhaps understanding that it has to do with you and, and um, your choices that you're making. And now it's about being efficient and now making the right choices moving forward, okay? And perhaps this other person, I will say, guys, perhaps this other person um, wants a renewal, um, but, um, but uh, you know, perhaps there's, they're a little scared in this, okay? Anyway, I, for, for some of you, I had to say this, but I really feel that there uh, could be a renewal in you, in your life. And um, you are understanding that how you were brought up, maybe some sort of template or injunctions that were passed down in terms of templates of some sort, uh, you know, from the grown up periods, whether it's through teachers, whether it's through family, through parenting, whatsoever. That was just, you know, a little bit, that's just, that was a, that was a, a you know, a, a hard drive, right? That was data that may have served you then uh, to have some sort of guidance system. But now this is about understanding that maybe your childhood played an important part in how you choose your partners. And now you're becoming a lot more efficient in terms of doing that, all right? You're becoming, you're seeing the gold in you and now you're using your own GPS system, uh, your own way of wanting to move forward, your own hard drive of data and you're changing it. Because data is just data, you can change that so it doesn't have to repeat itself, right? We can up, we can upgrade our hard drives. We can upgrade the hard drives, you know, on our computers. We can upgrade the hard drives within our ego, uh, you know, whether it's you know super ego, whatever. But that's that's what this is talking about. So anyway, this is about making better choices, better efficient choices in relationships to move forward, and that's what I see. So your GPS system is now changing the data, the language, and now it leads to some sort of renewal. Okay, that's what I see. I'm going to ask, I'm going to find out what is the best way, uh, you know, on this other side, the best way for this other person to move forward, just, you know, hypothetically, so you know, um, real quick, coming together and getting their space. They're coming together. Uh, they want to come together. So just note that they want to come together. We get the card of unity. Uh, but right now, um, they are preserving themselves to take care of maybe, again, some childlike wounds of anything of the sort that they're overcoming. Uh, you know, for themselves. And hence, guys, Beyond the Read it really helps out with that. It's one of our services here. Uh, but also taking the space to make that happen, okay? All right. The best for, uh, uh, way for you to move forward in terms of for you, I'm going to pull a Sacred Rebels card. I need to pull that for you because that's going to be important. Is how to overcome some of this uh, crazy energy that you might be feeling, okay? So love these cards. I'm going to pull this just for you. What is that? the perfection of your life. This is beautiful, okay? So this is a 30 card. This is about becoming create, you know, very creative and perfecting your life. This is so beautiful. And no one can can change that but you, right? You know, so this is about uh, you know, creating um growth in your life. This is about um this is about uh uh this is about trusting uh, that life is unfolding within you, but also life is unfolding around you, right? So uh, this is about uh, this is about uh, unfolding to a higher order. You're currently going through a some sort of spiritual change, a spiritual storm, um, which is interesting. That's that's ruffling some feathers for you, and this is saying is that that you have intuitively. 
um, are going through some sort of healing process. And if you haven't reached this right now, this is saying you're encouraged to do so. Um, uh, this is saying uh, it's at a real subtle level. So if you're feeling stuck, uh, stale, or you know, bored, or whatever the case may be, this is, brings you a message that the truth is unfolding for you and uh, there is a, a sort of creative genius in the universe. So it does want you to get out in nature. You're perfecting your life. It's unfolding. It's unfolding really beautifully. And, and that's what I see that kind of was coming through here, the blooming, it's like it's like unfolding. The, the, the petals are unfolding for you here. And it brings forth a brand new life, a renewal, right? And it allows you to move forward in your relationships, romantic or not, business whatever, more efficiently. Okay, so that's what I see for you. Okay, guys, I'm sending you lots of love. Uh, please note your comments below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, namaste.